right. Whew. All right. So you're back on again? Yep. I'm back okay. On. So uh, just to recap on the outside, we have the water entry at the rear door. We have the water entry along that side and the water entry at the front corner, which we've talked about. The uh, stone masonry work, I've got good pictures that they can look at of the missing stones or the damaged stones up on the higher chimneys. You have two major chimneys, okay. three, three fireplaces in the place. As we come through, uh, the thing that dates it, windows. During the time when they built the place, they just converted over to dual pane windows. These aluminum frame dual pane windows at the time were the best you could do, unless you tried to go with the early wood dual pane windows. Those ended up with rotted frames and things like that. The issue with these windows is they sweat. They, these windows do not have any low E reflectivity, argon gas, nothing like that. And, uh, uh, and they tend to leak at the corner joints. So as we come here, let me show you here. And they, did they get to see this in person? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you look here at the lower corners and take a look here, interesting, part of that is due to the frame sweating. Mm -hmm. Part of it is due to moisture coming through Getting because blown of poor through. caulking at the, at the joints around the windows and at the joints of the aluminum framing. Now. When I get to some of the windows though, that aren't either being hit by sprinklers or heavy wind-driven rain, there's none of them. There, we have a few windows with none of this, but a majority of the windows have that to some degree. Mm -hmm. When we get uh, on, the, on the main floor, notice everything is wood trims. At that time, wood trims, very elegant because you can't just fill it with caulk. You, know, mm -hmm. you had to cut perfect, everything had to be perfect. And, and uh, Utah builders didn't like doing that, so they... they uh, Somebody's got to be good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, did you look up there and see if there's any sweating on there the There is ones? sweating on these as well. Okay. And uh, uh, because this is a wind-driven side, we have the leak stains and more. our skylights. Yeah, those are for sure. I saw those when we were here too. So. And yet I took good pictures of the detailing of the flashing on the outside. They always leak. And unfortunately, but they really tried to go to a lot of care with the flashings up there on this newer roof. Is it is it that. leaking or is it condensate? No, no, that's leak. Okay. That's leak. And it's because of all the joints, the, the miter joints, the connecting joints, the, the snow that sits on top of it. The, yeah. And, and unless you got up there every year and caulked every joint, and, and nobody ever does. And so you look at it and you go, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's like a it never waterfall comes, it never or comes anything. Through drips yeah. or anything. You don't have to put a bucket out, but but uh, but that that is actually leaking. Uh, in here, the, the vaulted ceiling design. In our attics, there are two attic accesses. Here's our issue: we have blown-in fiberglass insulation with fiberglass bats on the vertical walls. A couple of the fiberglass bats have fallen down and could be repositioned. But they've, they've uh, gone up there to upgrade lighting and everything else and run new wiring. And, and they've just traipsed through the insulation they have. And so in some places, it's only this deep. My recommendation would be to take all these recessed lights you see, you see like these here. Mm -hmm. These are the kind that in the attic have to be left exposed because they're so hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, convert them to... To put the LED trims on for eight bucks each, and <laughs> right, and now there's no heat, and they're sealed. Now and I have there's an no insulation heat. contractor get up there, put a pristine blanket of insulation across yeah, everything, idea. To readdress the vertical bats. Yeah, that's pretty and, inexpensive uh, too. Reconnect so. one of the pieces of duct work that uh, is uh, disconnected up there, and and, uh, and 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 get more energy efficiency that way. Okay. Cool. Uh, in through here, oh, your uh, fireplaces, two of them have these gas log type. These aren't allowed anymore the way they're currently configured. Now you have to come in, you have to turn the valves inside the box. Nowadays they want everything outside the box or with switches. They didn't secure down any of the grates and uh, they didn't put any damper stops on the, uh, on the uh, flues so that all of your heat goes on up even when it's not on. They're, uh, they were nice for the time. Nowadays, most people would look at that and say, you know, what would it take me to pull that insert out, put in a new high efficiency insert, which was as energy efficient as these high efficiency furnaces that you've got in the place, 
and actually use them as a heating appliance with the glass front, with a circulation fan, mm -hmm. and, and, and use it as a heating Not appliance. just decorative. Mm -hmm. Romantic. Yeah, yeah, these are romantic, yeah. Wood floors. You should see here all your trims. Some of your trims have dried out. Instead of coming in and refinishing all of them, you'd probably want to come in with a form of these lemon oil wipe on. Uh -huh. type of oil and it just soaks in. I'll put that in the report as well. All of your doors where they have dried finishes on it, the lemon oil just soaks it right in. There, were, uh, there was a BB hole through this window. We're now in the formal dining room. And uh, if you look here, there's a BB hole through that pane of glass right there. Okay. There were two other of these small windows in Dark separate kids. rooms mm -hmm. that are cracked. Okay. But it was only one pane cracked, not both. So you okay. don't have a, a real big air breach. In our kitchen, let's see, our kitchen light switches were all right, that's right, right over here. We love the kitchen except for this light fixture. Which one? That one. <laughs> well, I am one of the, uh, these two are out. Did you notice? Uh-uh. These two are dead right there. But as far as the kitchen layout goes, which is awesome. Fridge, all of that. The freezer. Talk to me. They have a freezer in the... That's not designed as a freezer at all. Right, right. So the freezer's in there. That, that's it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because I know we have our ice. Yep. We have our ice machine here. And I noticed these were just chillers. Fridges, large, yeah. You know. So the freezer's just in the pantry. And then you've got your built-in microwave, dishwasher, ran it through a cycle. The flooring here at one, one time... We mm -hmm. have a little leaking here. It's all dry now. Uh, there isn't anything soaking in. And down and underneath, good shape through here. Disposal works well. You've got all kinds of clever things like this here, you know. Yeah. Uh, an adjustment. Here's an adjustment. Watch this. Can you open that? See how that turned 90 degrees? Oh, yeah. You need uh -huh. to unscrew the thing and twist it a little bit. Yeah. That should be the stop position. Yeah. Uh, I, I figure this kitchen is probably 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And they probably spent seventy, eighty thousand dollars on it when they did they it. They gave it a lot of thought to come up with exactly yeah. what they wanted. You oh, know? It's beautiful. Uh, so. And you look at things such as over here. Yeah. The hatch there. This. I mean, they went to a lot of work. They, I, you know, I've never owned a home big enough to have, you know, the drawers for the spices to be able to give up that kind of square footage just for. The spice. I mean, they've really thought it out. And in fact, well, if you could spend any time with uh, with them, and why did you Good do idea. that? Would yeah. you? Is there anything you change? You know, yeah. Is there anything yeah. that didn't work for you? Yeah. Did you notice over here on this yep. end as well? Yeah, garbage. Yeah. Compactor. Which. A good new one. Yeah. Yeah. And you either love it or hate it. If you love it, great. You use it all the time. Things it did not have. It did not have. GFCI protection Interesting. on the kitchen counters because that wasn't required when the home was built. It seems like uh, they would have added it though because it's not that thought, difficult. Yeah. You know, but the only outlet that really, I mean, I know they said really are worried about counters, it, but it's that, that one. That one. That one. Yeah, but that takes 10 minutes wow. to put a GFCI the in. The same is true down on the, uh, the one downstairs. The downstairs, in that smaller okay. little kitchen. Yeah, you've got them in your bathrooms. You've got them, you know, the other places. Weird. You need. Okay. Just not in your kitchen. And the one, why? Because it was about 10 years later that they required them in kitchen sinks. They first took care of, and you'll get this recorded on video, right? They took care of all the areas men were dying. Women yeah. were killing their husbands by throwing a, a toaster in the bathtub, right? Killing the men. So bathrooms were first. Out in the garage, they were getting electrocuted. There. Outside, weed whacking. Yeah, there. Yeah, the kitchen was the very last place to require GSC. Right, because it's just your wife. It's that's women. A, yeah. Women. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? It's true. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, let's talk to you here. Uh, you have this? Wow. Who expected this? So I called this the semi formal dining room. Yeah. You know? But, uh, the sunroom dining room. Yeah, but another great room. Oh, the switches over here. Right I love it. Okay. You'll see some things like here. Little settlement crack, you'll see some, some uh, the water, the water staining, the seeping staining, you know, at the lower corners of windows. Mm -hmm. But overall, I mean, just a just a fabulous little room that wouldn't have to be, like you say, used for dining at all. You know? She she may she does uh, homeschool with some of the kids. I mean, she may turn this into the classroom. I would, yeah. 
Really? Not yeah. downstairs? Well, downstairs sure has a lot of room. Yeah, nice, sure nice room, but this sure is does. this is convenient to the rest of what you spend your time doing. Wow. Is this room here? This is pretty cool. It's such a cool wow, room. This is this is a really nice room. Now, if you look closely, if you got over on this side, Drew, uh -huh. and then shined up, I do want you to shine up on the skylight, the lower right corner. Uh huh. See that you got a great view of that, and you've got the same similar water staining on each of these as well. Now, what I do not know, and you can stay where you're at, but you can shine over here. I do not know what this switch ever was for. Like, I do. I, I asked. Maybe it was a projector screen. No, they had motors on those skylights. Windows? Okay. Yeah, and so okay. they they were able to open the skylights with uh, with a motor. Okay, and that's that, what that, that, that went for. Sense. And there's yeah. nothing on them now. Not now. Not nothing now. Okay. The uh, drinking fountain. Awesome. Yeah. And it's really good cold water. <laughs> cold water check. Wow. No, that's good stuff. On down here, bathroom. This bathroom is pretty typical. I want you to show you all the tile work. None of the grout was sealed. So you'll see very clean grout here. You'll see very dirty grout there. It's time to clean. Steam it all seal and seal it. Yeah. You know, okay. that's so common nowadays. Sink, faucet, and all that. As far as makeup and all that, probably not with that particular lighting, but very elegant. This is the one most of your guests mm -hmm. are probably going to use. Pantry, come down this way. Pantry, take a look at how many non permanent shelves, and I don't know what's saying. These are permanent. But everything down at this end, this is non-permanent shelving. Right, right. We, so whether that goes with them or, that. you know. And then this must be the freezer. Yep. Yeah. So they'll have to do a similar thing. Which is not a big deal because no. there's a kitchen right there. So. Right there? Yeah. Right there? The long hallway that I'm sure originally these were bedrooms, right? Yes. As they had a bigger family and then they... I did find it interesting that he, he got the one with the bathroom, <laughs> you know. Uh, but this, this uh, uh, wonderful office now, look at all the built-in cabinetry, even right behind you on your shoulder. There's, there's an attic access up here in the ceiling. The other attic access was down in that pantry on the ceiling there. And because you have vaulted place in between, they're not joined. It's not communal. Okay. As you come along in here, this bathroom, this bathroom is uh, pretty important. This switch here, this goes to your master. Okay. So if your master is ever dead, you got to come in this bathroom. Okay. Let me show you something in here. Uh, where's our light switch? Is it outside? I think it's right yeah, there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, on two of your bathrooms, you've got diverter issues. The diverter is on the tub spout. It sends water up to the shower head. Half of the water still comes out through the okay. diverter. And it's a case of uh, taking care of the spout and the diverter. Other than that, notice faucets. Uh, notice how the elegance that they've gone for well done, done. versus vanity with everything okay. you have. Sure. And so I don't know if their plans are to try and turn this back over to. I don't think a so. I think or we'll keep it as a formal office. But all the built-in cabinet, everything is a match set. It's really, really nice. And then this one. I thought this was really interesting. I don't know if she has a personal assistant or what. I would think you'd sit there all day, but no. Somebody sits over here, and over here is where stationery is. Like if I'm going to write a letter, I'm sitting over here. And yet, uh, you know. But look at, once again, built-in cabinetry. Yep. Is it possible... Nice blinds. Is it possible the other was a formal office from the get-go? And this, and this was converted. after the fact, because notice in here... Notice a different caliber of shelving and cabinetry and everything like that. Whereas in the other room, it was all match set. All yeah, set. yeah, yeah. They're great, though. I mean, what a cool floor plan for something that this that's this old. Yeah. You know? Step over here. I want to show you a couple things. I don't think they're a big deal now. This is the side of the house that had the electric heat strip. Mm. And I think through here... They may have had some prior water leaking. You'll see a little, a little sh the shifting crack, a little crack. But it, it's quite possible that they may have had some ice damming evidence along this side for them to invest in that heat strip tape. Yeah, that's not that's not just go buy it at the 
Home Depot and throw it up there. That's no, professional. That an, electrician. an electrician installed all of yeah. all of those heat strip tapes. Now down through here, I didn't know what I was walking into. I didn't know if I was walking into the master or if I was walking into an apartment. Or I, I, I didn't know. But interesting the design, the elegance of the step down into the bedroom area. Notice the upper windows, all up through there. Those they must awesome. have had a ceiling fan fixture up there if you look on the ceiling. Yeah, See probably. That? And they're just, just incredibly different view. You wouldn't know what state you were in in, in this backyard. It's, it's pretty cool. This door didn't leak. How often do I get to say that? Hardly ever. Yeah, yeah, rarely. On a house this old? <laughs> yeah, rarely do I. Which means this isn't getting hit with wind driven this, rain. The storms don't hit the side yeah, of the house. Hit. And that's why these windows over here didn't have the moisture, whereas these windows did. See, there, they've got the moisture mm -hmm. a little bit down in the corners. Yeah, they have, uh, they have, for a long time, for a lot of decades, they felt that uh, you shouldn't be able to take a bath and directly contact light switches. Okay. Yet, yeah, yeah. if you look over here, uh -huh. <laughs> you're not supposed to be able to reach up and get electrocuted while you're in your bath. And so you might consider a waterproof, a waterproof light switch right there. Okay. Which they make. In the bathroom area, there's the toilet area, nice, big, and spacious. Yeah. And same thing with tile and grout. The uh, sinks, I think this lever stopper. I don't think those window, those mirrors, that you couldn't get dressed here. Oh, no. You could not put your makeup on. No, the, 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 this, <laughs> this couple, older, cool. I've never met them, don't know, but I, I've seen a couple pictures now, and... And I assume they're not real tall in stature. You know, they've they've been here since this house was brand new. Oh, I, they built I it. believe. Yeah. I believe it, this home was built for a specific purpose. They yeah. knew what they wanted, which is yeah. pretty cool. Now, as you walk in, is it too polarizing for you, or or do you share the same vision they have with it, or you know? But it doesn't matter. There's so much square footage. You can. If you want to modify it, modify it. I think she mostly shares the same vision except for the southwest basement. Is that right? That that we need to probably update. <laughs> How about carpeting and the flooring? I think there? it's great. Okay. Yeah, I think, you see the, uh, I think it's the, fine. Uh, privacy glass? Yes, I like that. Side. Waterfall glass. And uh, in here, seal all the grout. Uh, I think... Is it? Oh, this was, this was interesting. I, I think I found this interesting. Come on over here. This is her dressing side, right? Mm -hmm. Notice all the windows were clear. Is it this one that has the frosted glass? One of them mm -hmm. has frosted glass. Maybe it's the bathroom. It's the bathroom over there. Oh yeah. His bathroom has frosted glass. Interesting. You no, know, but but over in here, no, I just leave it open. I don't know. Maybe that was a teenage daughter's bedroom at one point. Uh, if a neighbor shows up with a telescope, then you're gonna have to block all the windows. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, pretty cool, all the trees up there. Yeah, it's well. beautiful. Notice the vaulted design. Yeah. A lot of extra work on that. Yeah. And uh, the tub, notice it's only a garden tub. If you want to upgrade that to a jutted tub, that dimension, that drop in, it's standard size as far, yeah. as, as, far as the oversized tubs go. So it'd be re it would be really straightforward. In the uh, closets, did they see all the drawers? Yep. And Lots of drawers. Each side you know, has all the drawers. And, and uh, get that off. Let's try and get all the lights off. Right, right. Yeah, there's light switches everywhere. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then central back things. Now, I don't recall, and you will just have to ask me how many sets of attachments there are for the central back unit. Yeah. And this was this for auto openers? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Because they still have one of the motors in this. Like, this is cool. In, yeah, in here. <laughs> I'm sorry, my favorite room in the house. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Did you go upstairs? Oh, yeah. And did you see the window crank no. up there? Uh, if, you, if you flip the motor here, see, this is the same switch. 
I can hear it. Yeah, it's sitting on the window shelf. Okay. It's not installed. Okay. And so it's it's all manually open. I've got pictures of that. If you want to go up there and video, we, we can. Yeah. But this doorway, this doorway leaks. Okay. This is a reverse door, meaning it opens outward. The threshold's installed backwards because the door is installed in reverse. And if you look down in here, you see all the water entry through the doorway. See all the door frame? Yeah. Door frame through yeah. there. Now, here's a question I have and I can't answer it for you. This door may have been completely upgraded and all this staining, that notice how stained it is, mm -hmm. all through here. Notice there's nothing on here. Yeah, it might, it, is it, it looks to me like it's an old door. Is it Whatever possible? Looks. No, a new door, but the water entry was from right, the old Right, door. right, that's what I mean. Like, like this door, this come, door come, looks like it was- Come on, take yeah. a look here. This door does not match. Anything else? The frames, these are all newer frames, newer, it is quite possible this was the solution for that water entry. And, and I'm was. sure when you ask them, that's that's probably what you're going to find out. Okay? Okay. Oh, come take a look out here. Yeah, come back out while we're on the deck here. Uh, step over in here. I want you to be back over in here. And I want you to look at the whiteness on the stonework. And I think they've taken corrective action to stop that. Go I, to the upper that's roof huge line flashing that up there. In. Yeah, see the kick out flashing yeah. at the upper line. That would have stopped all that water down through there. Uh -huh. Now come to the underneath this minor rake. Uh -huh. See all that water. Now, what I think they did, I think they came in and cut the stonework and put the counter flashing in uh -huh. that, that took care of that flashing gap. Okay. And the, that. Uh, uh, that's what I think they did. Yeah, it looks like it. I wonder if those rocks have fallen out since then or if they've been gone for a long time. Well, no, wait a minute. We know those rocks have fallen out since the roof was put on. Because and they're on top flashing, of the... Because they're there. Yeah, they're there, they're there, they're okay. on top. So we know that the that the rocks, see, if you look up the top, yeah. top row, you're missing two stones there. Back corner, you're missing another one. I can see a concrete chimney cap up there that's still bridging that yes. but it must have failed to some degree yeah but and allowed water down through mm -hmm. stay where you're at let me point out some of the patch areas see they've had a stone man come in already if you take a look through here uh-huh yep fresh mortar all through here and done a pretty good job you know is that the person that you want to get up there maybe the stone mason was too old to i don't get on roofs anymore you know I, who knows who knows but the guy who did the lower work, if you compare the color of that grout to the color of this grout, see, this is much lighter. That's yeah. more of a darker gray color. Yeah, That's it is. Been, been all patched. This one it's the original hasn't stuff. needed it. But it is something that you're going to want to find a good stonemason. So you can just take it. Have them come in it. every five years, yeah. It's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. Preserve the life of this home, yeah. Yeah, but now the more that I look at this door, yeah, yeah I come think on you're in. right. I think that was the uh, and the they didn't solution. want it opening in, right? Because it, it, it gets it, in the way of the ladder. And... Yeah. So it'll be interesting, but I think uh, I think by the report, uh, I think what your sellers are going to say is, yeah, oh yeah, that that was the solution for it, and that's totally plausible to me. It's okay. Totally plausible. Okay. Let me shut that door. Lighting-wise, there we go, got that light off. Okay, now here, these two switches, the light up here, these were for the electric heat strip tapes. I did flip them on. I did go out with thermal imaging, and the heat, heat strip tapes did uh, come on. These three were accounted for. This one, I don't know, and this one, I don't know. He told me probably what those outside are. lighting. I think, I think they're is. for Christmas lights. Probably so. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you come down, this is what I was telling you about, this finishing. Try it with some lemon oil first. This is pretty extreme, though, through here. It may, may end up mm. sanding that and refinishing all together. That's what happens when you mop the floor too much. All right, now... Let's come on down here.
This room I have listed in the bedroom section, even though they have it as a craft room. Mm -hmm. In order to convert it back over, at some point, you're gonna have to take one of these closets or take shelves out. Notice these are Make all full shelves. Hang. These are the sewing machines material. The, t the doors need to be refit. Some of them uh, scrape. Yeah. Real bad on yeah, the top. That. This mm -hmm. one here it catches. You know, they could be block planed. I didn't find water entry along that edge. I thought I would because of just the exposure and everything, but I didn't find the water entry there. There are no smoke detectors inside bedrooms because this home predates that. But by all means, come in and put the 10 year smoke detectors and then every 10 years change them out. Put a carbon monoxide detector in the hallways as well yeah. on, each, on each level. Let me show you the water entry. This is that northwest bedroom. Smoke detector. And over in this corner behind the ski, whatever it is, ski coat rack. You can see right over here. And you see the water yep, entry all bit. the way around the corner. Like I said, here's your water main. You know, is it possible that water was seeping through there? Is it possible you had a leak out in that control box? But we do know the gutter system and the, you know, you get a lot of water along that foundation. But this confirms, and this was uh, loosened up already. I wasn't the first one to raise that carpet. It's a known condition. Okay. And so maybe, you know, a little history from them. But from what I'm seeing outside, it's still ongoing. Yeah, it makes still sense. Ongoing. Yeah. Uh, what else in here? I think you're missing a light lens inside here. One of these little glass light lenses. Oh, right I see. There. Yeah. And then I think you know. I wondered. I thought that those return air vents were interesting in this room. I wondered if they had kind of configured this after the fact. Well, now remember, the basement is different here in that they spent more money to put all your basement ductwork. Oh yeah, in the floor. Flat. Sure. Yeah. Because down here, you know. Yeah, I, I pointed that out, that that's, that's, that's nicer because they're not in the ceiling. But they do have cold air returns in this room and in the other bedroom, right, right. which is, you know, you usually don't see that. Well, and here's why. That's the reason why is because it's taking heat off the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And you don't have air conditioning down here because you're concerned about heating. Usually your cold air returns are in the low part of the wall. Yeah, that makes sense. And I, I, but it, so having it up here, you're taking back the air that you're – as hot as it's going to be, so it doesn't doesn't mm -hmm. you know logically make sense. Uh, ball bearing latches on a lot of these doors yeah. as well. See, here's where they satisfied the requirement for. Yeah, I just pointed that out. Okay, I'm just there. This uh, bathroom, boy, it has a very expensive toilet. I know. For 25 <laughs> years, I've never seen a triangular corner toilet, and it has a broken lid. Uh, we, broken lid? Yep, we noticed that. Oh man. We're like, that's why it still has a broken lid. Right, you can't replace it. <laughs> and I don't even know where you can buy a triangular tank. It's a normal, you know, toilet base. But uh, the triangular court, and I looked at that and went, I don't think in 25 years I've ever seen one. I know, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah pretty cool, pretty yeah. cool. I didn't hear the tile work, all that good shape, drains flow well, all that, you know. Okay. So no major issues in here. The double sinks, the exhaust fan, the GFI, I reset that. Good. The yeah, uh, phone booth. Boyfriend phone booth. The phone booth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, originally it had, it had, you know, the door on it, and, you know, you got the hookup, and, and uh, yep. very elaborate. I thought it was going to be a sauna. Now, in here, this is the frustration. Just, just, I'm just complaining. I don't think you should have to walk all the way over here to turn your kitchen lights on. That makes sense. But you do. But you do. Come on around over in here. This is where you would upgrade the outlet here to a GFI outlet for the safety protection. And notice that in here the uh, disposal isn't working. Okay. And uh, But there is one installed down there. And it just means it hasn't been used, it's seized up, and it needs to be broken free and, and uh, put back into use. Uh, no, no, uh, no stove or oven. Just the microwave. It's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Don't it want is. kids down here with the stove un unsupervised. Also here, dining area in good shape. Exercise room, as we come across here, you'll see if you shine your light down there, you'll see some pretty extreme slab cracks with a little differential settlement. Keep in mind, 
The slabs in this place are independent of the foundation. They're floating slabs. And for whatever the reason, this cracked, settled down. This would normally be covered with carpet. But as you go through your bedrooms and you feel high and low spots in the floor, this is all through, all through the, uh, the basement area. It's in all basements to one extreme or another. And, uh, and when it settles down in a corner, a big void, they have to come and pump slurry in and raise it back up or jackhammer it. But uh, it's frustrating. Not much you can do about it. And when the home is brand new, you're just crossing your fingers that it isn't going to get too extreme. This is most likely what's over here by your, your rear door as well. Now, do you want to pull the carpet up and shave this down so this door swings? Or like we talked about on the outside, raise this door, pull the door out, reinstall the whole door up an inch or so, give you the clearance. Yeah. Know, that, that raise the bridge, lower the river, probably. Yeah. You know, raising it would be... Uh, I've showed you the water entry there. So yeah, yeah. We talked about that. Got that. That's up. Oh, in here, this room here. Notice this. This was a fireplace that they put in a wood stove insert, very expensive wood stove insert with a circulation fan, and it's meant to heat. And uh, I took one look at that one, and I was going, I thought that was a. It looked like a pellet stove almost to me to begin with, but then yeah, I went over and looked at it and opened it up inside. Yeah. And, uh, and as far as wood stoves go, if you're the type that wants it in case of an emergency, you know, to heat the place, great. And if not, pull it out, put a gas thing in there, and, and uh, you know, just flip a switch. So, uh, here's another return. Be right up on the yep. screen again. Yep. That, 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 okay. There was a cracked window. This is one of the rooms that okay. has a cracked window over there. Oh, I gotta turn the lights off in the kitchen. Hold on. Oh, did I mention this bugs me? Yeah. Oh, okay, I did. Right. You know they have they have a solution to those now. It's Kids called a, a Wemo switch. Oh, okay. <laughs> the wireless ones. Yeah. We'll come back to I think this is our storage. No, this is our uh, storage room. room, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is storage. Storage. Oh, I was able to pull this out. I was able to access both of these sub panels. I pulled the covers off. I've got pictures inside, but. You couldn't videotape me while I did it because I didn't say words that were conducive to uh. public airing. I, it, it was just frustrating. I in here more storage. Notice the shelves. Uh, you'd have to put the hardware on here, but it's yeah. it's just nice to have this extra. Yeah, it's really nice storage. Uh, just storage area. Wow, that is pretty cool. And this even wraps around in under the stairs. Notice the screens, the pile of screens and screen door. Now, now that I'm looking at the screen door, where would that screen door have gone? I don't know. We don't have a sliding glass door in this place. Maybe that was an old door. We used to have a sliding glass door. Where? That deck, we didn't have a double wide door, did we? I don't, I don't think, so. think we did. I don't know. I don't know. But none of their windows had screens on them. They're a very closed air lifestyle. Uh, family, if you decide that you want to put the screens back on, I didn't. I didn't uh, in any way inventory those screens, but usually you just pick your your six or eight windows that you really want to open. This is the room we'll come back to. That's our mechanical room. This bathroom, uh, yeah. Oh, this was the same, but it didn't have the triangular. Uh, yeah. But but it's the same square footage, but the other one had a shower. Uh -huh. This one has a tub shower combination. It's the girls. Girls like to take a bath. And it has a, the diverter issue where right. only part of the water goes up to the shower head. Okay. And it was missing a light lens up above. And unfortunately, this is the color it is. So. <laughs> it's pink yeah. for girls. It isn't required that you have a handrail with three stairs, but boy, oh boy, why not add one? You know, depends yeah. on who's using it. And to have this much square footage and be able to have this just be another storage room, this would be a typical bedroom in here. Yeah. Closet over in the corner. I had a smoke detector. Yep. And uh, yeah, good shape through here. And then the double bedroom. All through here. With extra closets. 
You know, that one was this locked. This one with the rifles. That's why. That, yeah. This one was all locked up yeah. before. I, I kind of figured that this was guns. I took a picture of all that so that they're not going to say, oh, you stole my thing. You know, I don't want anything to do with it. I have no <laughs> fingerprints inside there. What? The <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, I think the closet is all this stuff in here. Notice this app does have a light in okay. the closet. This has a, that's a smoke detector, isn't it? What is? That's this right there? Uh-huh. What, what actually is that? I've seen a lot of things. What do you want? I think it's a smoke detector. As part of the alarm system, meaning uh, the master, way up high on the, there is, is one that, that isn't a freestanding smoke alarm. It's, it's actually a detector that goes to an alarm system. Okay. Uh, at some point, they had an alarm system installed, but I didn't see any evidence of that. For a still, while. They're still yeah. being used. This room here, this is, we are now in the back corner with the first small window well, and I didn't find any water entry in either area under here. Okay. Uh, we did in the next, the next room over. Yeah, and that's where they redid the whole gutters and all that yeah. stuff upstairs. This sits so. under master at some point. They had a leak. Oh yeah, so I see, see that. The, yeah. the 12 inch patch and yeah. then they have a different color paint. They used white over the top of it. Oops. The, the, the finishing in here, love it, hate it. To me it looks dry and in need of... It's that pickled um, pine kind of finish that yeah. was really popular in the 90s. A little bit of whitewash to it. Yeah, it needs to, needs to be repainted white or something in here i can feel as i walk through and there's a high there. crack through here there's, there's one of those cracks like in the exercise room right through here okay yeah. but this next room this is the one that uh, that, uh had the significant water yeah Ooh, i can see it above that desk right there a patch where do you see see right above that desk that's oh, this so wavy light. take a look over here see take a look at this that's that's significant. That isn't just a one time left the garden hose on. I you know what I think that but if you look at the bottom of the backing on the carpet, uh -huh. it looks pretty clean. A little bit of come kind of, kind of a little rust. If uh, if but see here's the thing. This carpet doesn't look that new. Okay. Okay. So let's say the carpet was ten years old and let's say they got lazy and didn't replace the carpet back strip. See from my perspective in here why not come through if you're going to re-carpet down here? And I don't know if you are or not, but if you are, rip all the carpet tack strip out, put in fresh so that you have that, you know, that little litmus test now. You can pull the carpet and go, hey, it's still pristine. No water's coming through. But nobody looks at carpet tack strips except you. I'm talking about a homeowner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because home inspectors don't raise carpet, just so you know. That's not their job description, but I raise all the carpet. Uh -huh. Wherever I suspect it's going to be. And see sure. right, see right there along the edge of that desk. Let's take a look. Oh, right here! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Wow! Now let's raise that window and let's, uh, yeah, let's look further at this. Maybe the other way. That's going down, wasn't it? I don't know. It's not. It's not raising the window. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, that water is from up here under the sill. That sill shows nothing. It, it's this is going this way. I bet this. I, think I bet this has been fixed. But why yeah, would you paint it? When's the last time they painted this thing? Color painted. I don't, paint I don't know. I mean, that's, that's chipped right there. This is this is interesting. Look, there's the there's the old nails that held the old. Uh, yeah, the window. Gold wind from the bucking. Here, here's what I would uh, recommend. Get a couple gallons of water and pour it on this edge. And then watch the water come through. The water's coming underneath the window. It's not coming over the top. This is the same paint, right? Yeah, yeah. That water's coming in underneath. That's what I think, too. But yeah, I just... So, could you, could you caulk this joint? I bet you could. See, the joint between this, yeah. this cap is reversed. You know, it has no caulking in it. Why not try and... Clean it all out and seal along there. And oh, you could probably even caulk it good and then put a, um, you know, all, like put some like uh, self-leveling concrete right oh, there. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, because you can't. You, this will go down. That. Yeah. This will. That's the foundation right there. And uh, but this, wow. I, you, the other thing you could do is you could just take Cicaflex, and just put about a quart of Cicaflex on that. It self levels. What is Cicaflex? It's the it's the gray self leveling concrete um, caulk that's designed for uh, cracks in your driveway. So you take that and you just fill it up until it, uh, it you know, until it it levels and and is getting ready to drip really? over the edge there. And I bet you just solved your problem. Well, keep your bleeder, keep your bleeder holes for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, right, and right. Then, uh, and, but notice the windows. Windows yeah. don't have excessive hard water spots. No. This isn't sprinklers or anything like that. No, but this is underneath where they put the big huge gutters. This used to cascade all the water off. Yeah, this used to be really bad. I just wonder whether or not that is new, that newer here. than the gutters, or if that's now. Uh, that's the motive for the gutters. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, that and 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 then this carpet, which was already, it was already pre-pulled up for yeah. that tax strip. Yeah, you know what would be nice to know is is what the what the time deadlines would be as far as when did they paint this room last? When yeah. did they do the carpet yeah. last? You know, when did they do the gutters on the outside? And see if you can't. Harmonize that, and uh, but Makes sense. worst case scenario, well, let's not get any more water to catch on this reverse angle there. Yeah, and we know that outside we do have the bigger gutters. We do mm -hmm. have all of that. All, all, all those rebuilt. And, and uh, if we were seeing excessive hard water spots, then we'd be thinking as well sprinklers or mm -hmm. do we have to put some cover over this whole thing? Wow. Interesting. Okay, good, good. I'm glad we took a closer look at that. Anything else in this part? I don't think so. I think it's just the mechanical room left here. Yep, I'm going to start over for that.